Good morning, good morning. So, crypto fire sale today. It is insane. I think Bitcoin has dropped down into the 40,000 range. Uh, I think it's like 44, 45,000 right now. It's insane. Everything is, is extremely low, all posting 20 plus percent losses. So it's a fire sale. Um, is it gonna keep going down? Who knows? This, this could be the crash. Uh, or it could be the crash that happens right before everything shoots back up. Um, if you look at the history or even, you know, look at, watch any of the videos of the talking heads out there on YouTube or anywhere, uh, they'll tell you, you know, there was close to 50% drop, 60% drop from the last high before it skyrocketed to the moon, so... What's going to happen, we don't know. Um, I'm putting together money. I'm trying to buy more at this price because this is this is insane. Um, and I'm still having faith that something's going to turn around here. But who knows? It is not looking good. I'll tell you that much. I uh, woke up this morning and looked at the prices. And, uh, whew, very, very scary. Uh, I thought money was missing out of my account at first. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. It was a price drop. All right. But, uh, what do you do? What do you do when everybody's panicking, everybody's selling? Buy it up. Buy up as, as much as you can. Again, really, really risky trades here. Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, so don't take my advice for it. Do your own research. Uh, figure it out for yourselves. Um, yeah, I could be wrong. I could be losing all this money that I put in there. It's not much. Enough for it. Doesn't hurt. Um, I'll tell you what, though. Trading crypto has been entertaining, uh, to say the least. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know if. if uh, those types of things are entertaining to you, but I always get nervous. I, I did sell a couple of things right before, but then I just jumped into something else. So, but now everything's literally dropped. So, did make some profits. Uh, one of my accounts is still somewhat. It's not like posting huge losses, but the one with heavily invested in Bitcoin at, at like fifty-eight thousand dollars is definitely, uh, definitely low. So. Hopefully this will be a chance to lower that dollar cost average uh, and get it down low so that if it does jump back up to 69 or higher, uh, get some profit. And looks like, I don't know, this still could happen this year. Uh, I'm hopeful. But if not, you know, everyone's still not thinking, oh, this is the end. Uh... You know, we, we dip down to this level even lower uh, during the summer. So, it, it happens. Um, all right, people. Good luck with your trades. Um, that, that means some of the altcoins might be... It might be a great time to buy in. Like, some of those things, I'm sure, are, are nowhere near uh, finishing their bull run. Um despite this drop so look into it this is the time to make money there's blood in the streets blood in the streets everybody and this is one of the things that you have to be really careful with taking out loans and things like that to to trade this because let's say you know you have five thousand in a in an account and then you take out a loan for three thousand so that you can buy more crypto because you're convinced it's just going up 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 and then something like today happens. Uh, usually there's mechanisms in these loans that says if the price hits this certain level, then we're gonna automatically sell uh, to re make sure we recoup our money. So now your $5,000 that was in, that was the collateral, that was Bitcoin, just dropped down to $3,000, which is just about what you owe, if not more, because you're gonna be paying interest and fees guess what they just liquidated your bitcoin 
and you just took a huge loss, but you, you paid off your debt, but you took a huge loss. Uh, and that hurts, and you, you still even might owe money after that, so uh, think hard, think hard, don't, don't, uh, you know, understand the risk, understand the risk. Same thing with, with certain options trading, you know, there's not much of that right now with, with uh, crypto, but it might be happening in the future. Um, reason for the crash, I think, um, I think the SEC's uh, treatment or denial of, of some of these uh, applications for EFTs or, or other like more conventional uh, or, or allowing crypto to be accessed by the more conventional investment market um, with that it would be like we're guaranteed to go to the moon because then you're talking about the flux of a few billion dollars, trillion dollars that could fall into crypto uh, if people want to, you know, can tolerate the risk and want to get out of the stock market. Uh, you know, inflation is real. Inflation is definitely happening. So uh, people are looking at, at, at different types of investments and. And crypto is definitely a, an option, and uh, but some people are just not advanced enough to go get a wallet or, uh, you know, take the other steps to to buy crypto. Um, not that it's hard, um, but some people just won't do it. They, they'd rather just, uh, you know, have someone else do it for them, and that that makes it easier. Um, but at the the government regulators aren't, you know, aren't on board. It definitely looks scary, and and then regulation might be incoming very soon, and that's that's gonna look scary. If, I, I don't think it's gonna happen in December, um, but you know, a lot of people, a lot of politicians are screaming, uh, stomping their feet, and talking about we need to do more regulation uh, on crypto. Um, there's, there definitely has to be uh, more conversations. I, I understand that they've reached out to people who are trying to, you know, work together to figure out a solution. But that alone scares the bejesus out of people. So, uh, yeah. What's going to happen? Who knows? All I know right now, fire sale on Bitcoin. Fire sale on almost all of the coins so go look at the coins you really like the ones that you really have faith are gonna are stay uh return to levels and get get some again not giving you advice do your own thing do your own research no idea what the hell i'm talking about